The Seven Seas Explorer is the world's most expensive cruise ship. With its sumptuous suites, an all-inclusive holiday could cost you more than £60,000. An army of butlers is on standby to cater to your every need. And its five restaurants are ready to serve the finest dining at sea. Today, the Explorer is in Barcelona. Its 550 staff are getting ready to welcome over 700 new guests. That's for you, I believe. Oh, yes, it is. Thank you. Yeah, that's right. My Beatles masks. The cruise director is John Barron. That'd be great for Beatles night, though, right? I want to check myself out in the mirror. Oh. Originally from Birmingham, he's been providing entertainment on cruise ships for over 20 years. Hey, Jude. But none as lavish as the Explorer. We've got $6 million worth of art around the ship, Picassos, Chagalls, $4 million worth of chandeliers everywhere, this beautiful 6,000 crystals in the main chandelier in our atrium area. The carpets are so plush and you could just sleep on them if you had too much to drink the night before. <laughs> With the previous guests having just left, there are only hours to prepare such luxurious surroundings for a new cruise, heading from Barcelona to Southampton. Under the most pressure is chief housekeeper, Sunny. We have to make 350 suites ready in a very short period of time. It's a race with time. That's why I'm wearing trousers and sneakers today. <laughs> but when you have guests that expect the best, what kind of sweets will greet them? Everything needs to be you know, lined up and straight and in a certain way it's supposed to be. While many cruise ships have over 2,000 cabins, the Elite Explorer has just 350 suites, but they all need to be perfect. I love it. I, embrication is very exciting, yeah. From the cheapest suites, costing over 700 pounds a night, it's a lot of things happening at the same time, but it's good. This is Grand Suite. To the Grand Suite at almost £3,000 a night. I love this particular suite because I love the... Um, I love the leather wallings. If I was a guest, I would always stay in the Grand Suite. <laughs> if I had the opportunity. Maybe one day, you never know. <laughs> but for those with very deep pockets, there's the Regent Suite. At £8,000 a night, it's the world's most expensive cruise ship suite. I mean, it's the best. You'll never find it anywhere else at sea. Measuring 4,400 square feet, it's almost six times bigger than the average British home. It's the most luxurious address at sea. Located on the top deck above the bridge, it's certainly got the best view on board. In charge of preparing it for the next guest is the ship's head butler, Raju. Everything has to be perfect, immaculate, spick and span. The suite includes a custom-made Steinway piano worth £400,000, which a specialist tunes before every cruise. There's the collection of crystal the cleaners might want to be careful with when dusting. These are all Lilic and Murano. It's about 140,000, just right here, on the shelf. And there's also a Savoir bed worth 120,000 pounds. If that's not enough for you, how about a golden bathroom with its very own spa? This has to be ready before the guest comes on board. But can they get everything done in time for guests who demand the very best? Across the ship, staff are carefully polishing the brass, while below deck, there's been a delivery of thousands of pounds worth of fresh flowers. They need to be carefully sorted by the explorer's very own flower arranger. But they're not put in any old vases. This arrangement is going in an 8,000 pound Lalique vase. But how do you restock a luxury cruise ship 
with over 200 tons of the finest supplies. Can you show me how much more you have to load? Facing that challenge is food and beverage director Stefan. Are we going to finish on time? You know, we're selling early. Yeah? Stefan's team will load around 3,000 bottles of wine, 2,000 pounds of lobster, and 15 tons of fresh fruit. We have an hour and a half maximum to finish the loading. It's Ruslan like, looks busy there, doesn't he? Yeah, Ruslan is running, and it's a good sign, you know, uh, I like that. So there's a sense of emergency, and it's very important. The Explorer will leave port at 5 p.m., whether they're finished or not. And when you're a luxury liner, being delayed is not an option.